It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. You may know Ryanair as the Spirit Airlines or Allegiant Airlines of Europe. Cheap, no-frills flights, secondary airports, everyone pays extra for everything, and a class of passenger that isn't exactly like the people who fly Emirates and spring for those little mini-apartments. No, the flights can get rowdy, and Ryanair believes the problem isn't that passengers get drunk on the flight. They point out that their flights are generally short-haul, and they don't really sell much booze on board, because there's not even time for that. But they point out that people tend to gird themselves for the flight by drinking at the airport bars and drinking a lot. By the time they have to board, they're already in bad shape, which leads to fights and bad behavior and puking and everything else you've read about in the sun or the mirror. So Ryanair is pointing the finger at the airports and asking them to restrict drinking in the terminals like a two-drink maximum. And that makes sense because two drinks is enough for someone to get enough of a buzz to ease the tension of flying, but not enough for most people to make them really drunk. So it seems like a good idea, even if the airports and their concessionaires are not agreeing to it at all. They don't like the idea of losing the profits they make from booze and beer. But if you can't get drunk in the terminal, are you going to do what football fans do, knowing that beer is expensive and sales will get cut off early inside the stadium? That's right. We could get tailgating at the airport. You park in the long-term lot, break out the cooler, and polish off a case of PBR before you even board the shuttle. I'm not saying that's a good idea. I'm saying that people who think they need a drink or 12 before flying would do that. And so would the kind of people who start their vacations well before they reach the airport. People who want to get drunk for their flights will still get drunk before the flight. Maybe they should just put the airport bars outside security and let people drink what they want and let the TSA do sobriety checks before letting them get airside. It would thin out the crowds on the plane, at least, and I'd be all for that. Okay, we've made it to the weekend. Use it to follow me on Twitter at PM Simon and at Talk Topics, and I'll talk to you Monday. For this week, that's enough.